Cat Gwen, the F bomb, the F bomb, Cat Gwen. Have you ever dropped an F bomb? Maybe you shocked people. Maybe you offended people. Maybe you learned to dance around future F bombs. Oh wait, I didn't mean the F word. I meant F bomb as in flavor bomb. Let me explain. The other day I posted a photo of my breakfast. It was soft scrambled eggs with bright splashes of spicy Tabasco sauce. Hashtag flavor bomb. My friend Chris likes the posts and because he knows my family's from Vietnam, he puts this question in the comments. Speaking of flavor bombs, do you do scrambled eggs with fish sauce? Well, no, I didn't, but I used to until the day my favorite flavor bomb was turned into a shame bomb. Because once upon a time, I took out an apartment full of friends with an F bomb, a stinky, funky, fishy flavor bomb. It was 11 a.m. on a Saturday morning and we were starving. I knew exactly what to make. Something fast, something delicious, something from my childhood. Scrambled eggs with fish sauce. I scrambled six eggs with fresh black pepper and a few splashes of fish sauce. Oh, what is fish sauce, you ask? Well, fish sauce is the liquid that seeps out of salted fish that's fermented for months under the hot sun. And yes, fermented fish juice and eggs are what I pour into a hot pan that day. The mixture sizzles, but instead of the familiar aromas of rich, savory eggs and salty umami depth, to my horror, I see a pungent, ghostly, fish-shaped spirit loom out of the frying pan. I freeze as the fish spirit sprouts multiple heads that swell and burst forth from the tiny apartment kitchen into the tiny apartment living room. The first fish head swallows of Gabriel, the French American guy. And yeah, he's out cold. I thought his people's heritage of stinky cheeses would have made him immune. Well, I was wrong. We throw open windows, we fan the doors, but we are no match for the fish spirits now, stalking and pinning down my remaining friends in all corners of the apartment. And this wasn't the worst of it. While fighting off a fish head, lunging at his face, my friend Eric, who's Vietnamese American like me, is angry. What is wrong with you? Don't you know you can't make that? I didn't. I thought everybody would love it as much as I did. But instead, Eric, someone who is like me, strikes me with this shame bomb. I finally put a lid on the pan with their source materials now contained, the fish spirits dissipate. We wake up Gabriel, who thankfully remembers nothing but the shame bomb. I remember it, and I never made scrambled eggs with fish sauce again. Now fast forward to my friend Chris's question. Do you do eggs with fish sauce? I replied, well, there was this whole fish spirit flavor bomb fiasco. I expect him to say, true, you can't make that around other humans. But instead he writes, eggs and fish sauce are my go-to when people come over, they go wild for it. And I realized in the years that the shame bomb had me pinned down, America had been struck by the F-bomb, multiple F-bombs that changed the landscape. Search for scrambled eggs and fish sauce today, and you'll see not just recipes, but dozens of videos where I saw the fish spirit flavor bomb. Nowadays, people love posting videos of flavor bomb creatures from all over the world. And this showed me something else. It wasn't Eric who shame bombed my flavor bomb. 
It was his landscape that had placed the bomb and set the trigger. And shame bombs don't limit themselves to food triggers or second generation Americans. How many of you have set off a wrong class of speaking trigger, a wrong class of fashion trigger, a wrong class of unspoken social norms trigger. Now I confess, I learned and I love the F-bombs of American culture. But for everything else, I dance around this minefield of shame bombs. And this meant years of missing out on other wonderful F-bombs. But you know what? So does everybody who avoids them. So when someone shame bombs you about a good thing, instead, have gratitude that you know how to appreciate it. And when you encounter something different, instead, have curiosity. Are we missing out on something good? Now, it was 11 a.m. on a Saturday morning again, and watching all these food videos was making me hungry. I scrambled two eggs with fresh black pepper and a few splashes of fish sauce. I poured the liquid into the hot pan and my old friend, the fish spirit, billows upward, surrounds me and whispers a message it wants me to tell you. Don't wait years like Kat did to realize that the presence of a shame bomb just means somebody's missing out on a flavor bomb. Instead, be curious, be grateful, and always be unashamed to drop an F-bomb. Toastmaster. <laughs>